Maybe you already saw it, but Iron Man is coming to Assassin's Creed Valhalla in a way. Because a new Helix pack that really looks like Tony Stark's suit got leaked. And this always, of course, means that when they're added to the game files, they will launch a little later. I'm also already toying around with it on PC, thanks to Gamer Lil Games. And Adam also shared that he saw a Yums Viking in this new advanced mechanical set. That, yes, is basically Iron Man looking at the colors, the sort of heart in the chest and the details on the back. But the most crazy part is that it also lets you do a uni beam, a blast from your chest. I will tell you how it works. I will also show if it's any good, although I think you can already kind of see. And just talk about the fact that this is a thing now. Is it too crazy? Did they remove the crossbows years ago and now this? A lot to go over. It would be amazing if you could leave a like. If you like the Assassin's Creed content, that really helps the channel out. Subscribe for more Valhalla videos and let's Let's go. You could argue that the helmet is kind of like Mass Effect, but the outfit also comes in white, by the way, making it kind of look like a stormtrooper. But the star of the show is totally that uni beam, and you activate it with the battle cry ability. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time that you have to play post launch content in order to use a set bonus from an armor set because you can get the battle cry ability in the third river raid map, River D, over here on the map. Doesn't take that long to reach you do need to complete two other rivers before it though and you of course start this activity in your settlement otherwise it seems that you cannot trigger this op attack because yes if you line up enemies correctly you will not only blast them away which already deals damage but also set them on fire which you can improve even more with fire build up so I put these runes on my weapons, this is kind of the loadout I'm using right now with the Iron Man armor, some special fire build up items and the enemies do not know what hit them. And that kind of makes sense because it's completely out of this world, it's a freaking laser beam in the 9th century, like I for one think that it actually makes the outfit very interesting, it's totally something that makes it stand out and it's crazy to kind of use that in the more medieval environment. But I totally get that people that prefer the older games are kind of sad now. Because it was once about surprising enemies with the hidden blade. And now you can shoot a freaking unibeam from your chest. I really think that you gotta let go of that mindset though. Because this has been going on for more than 5 years. And I'm sometimes surprised that people are still surprised that this is as a screed now. With the most common reaction being that Ubisoft once said we removed the crossbow to maintain historical accuracy. Here Nightblade says it too and then Valhalla, no let's add gods and Iron Man to this. And this by the way from our TikTok page, totally follow us there if you haven't already. We post some really fun stuff if I do say so myself, link to that in the pinned comments. And maybe you remember this, that in the first cinematic trailer for Assassin's Creed, this was also actually the opening cinematic for the game. Altair had a crossbow on his back, which did not end up in the final game. It was always kind of over the top, as he would very quickly and casually shoot a guard and then also throw it away. But it was never realistic that Altair had one to begin with, as these did not really exist during the Third Crusade in 1191. Did some quick research, and seems like there were variants in China already, but the small version we see Altair use that did not have to reload for one minute and can be easily put away did not exist back then. So Ubisoft also did not let us use them in the game. Some say they did not include it because it was too overpowered, but we did of course see it in later games when it did make sense for the setting, so I don't think there's much truth to that. So yes, I think we can say that 15 years ago Ubisoft indeed removed the crossbow because of historical accuracy, but still, every time a fancy element gets added to an Assassin's Creed game, people bring it up. I think the first time was really when we saw the snake in the E3 trailer from Origins, remember that. Turned out that Bayek of course began hallucinating after doing some drugs but we could still ride a chocomo and use a magical sword from Final Fantasy 15. Yes Odyssey had freaking minotaurs and many other mythical creatures, magical abilities, quite a lot of them actually and of course the Abstergo armor for the first time which then later released in Valhalla and people were still surprised when they saw it in Valhalla. And here we have that meme again but now because we can ride a wolf mount in Valhalla 
narrative director Darby actually did respond to this saying that it's just a hack in the animus so no NPCs would not react because Eivor did not actually have a wolf. Okay but that does not explain why right now this hack is causing enemies to catch fire and die in front of me. The point is that it doesn't really matter anymore. It's over the top, it's not what it used to be although we of course always had kind of crazy elements in some older AC games but it's a fact that of course the reason trilogy takes it to another level like I think it would have sucked if we explored Egypt but did not fight these mythical bosses or other creatures but only heard about them in dialogue same for Odyssey like fighting the Minotaur was actually pretty cool or Cerberus during the Fate of Atlantis DLC the Dragon Balls in Assassin's Creed Valhalla they just added is really one of the best fights in my opinion that they ever created for the franchise and I also think that at one point you would kind of run out of ideas especially if you support a game for two years after launch like only releasing half Waru style sets and this wolf outfit that would not be that exciting and you could argue that they would not be making all these fantasy robot type outfits if they did not sell and also the amount of free marketing they're getting right now because they're creating something similar to Iron Man is pretty wild now I don't think it's doom and gloom if you prefer the older Assassin's Creed games like Dawn of Ragnarok did not really do well for Ubisoft now this could of course be because of many things including the fact that people were burned out on Valhalla or did not like the year one DLCs so why pay the high price of $40 for new content but I think it also had to do with the mythical team and people simply want some as a Creed expansions as well which we did have for Origins and Odyssey while we did not have such a thing for Valhalla now we did learn that they did have a DLC like that planned where we play Basim this now turned into a full game but it will still be smaller and still focused and while it is of course made with the tools that were used Used to create Valhalla because again it was first a DLC it should feel more like the older games and of course if they really do that AC1 remake that they are hinting at that would of course also be a really cool way to experience the more action adventure focused AC titles but with modern graphics and quality of life improvements like I've said it multiple times during streams and stuff but I really think that that's the best way forward to have hopefully remakes of maybe the Ezio games as well in the future next to the big open world RPGs like that will likely be the main focus for the real next Assassin's Creed Infinity which will include multiple settings one of them being a giant open world Japan and I personally would prefer an RPG in Japan than more like the older games. Iron Man in Japan will be wild, can't wait. <laughs> I am curious though on what Marvel character they will base their next Helix set as we of course also got the Infinity Gauntlet with a Thanos style armor. They are holding them back, like I'm really curious when they will release, especially the Tenel set leaked months ago. The Iron Man pack also comes with a Horizon type mount that looks pretty wild, I think it's a cougar but then a robot and two pretty cool weapons that give you a boost after using a certain ability they're pretty strong overall so we'll be starting a new giveaway for an upcoming helix set including iron man you can participate via the link in the pinned comments we'll keep you posted when they are out and stuff like that subscribe of course for everything for Hala if you haven't already i will probably stream the iron man armor as well so keep an eye on the channel for that a like on the video would really help me out and check out my previous video on 2023 and how that will be insane we will probably get a Creed rift maybe another Assassin's Creed project and a ton of other games you can watch my full preview by clicking on the screen i will speak to you soon goodbye